Hey, what's going on? So, um, yeah, thanks for uh, coming through, checking out my first ever speed art. <laughs> Appreciate you. So, um, pretty much, I uh, figured that most of these speed arts would be like this. I'll probably just speak, you know, and put a little beat over it and or under it, however you want to phase it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, just do my thing and just give you guys either a story or a question, a topic, talk about something, answer questions or whatever. And, um, yeah. So since this is my very first one, I don't have a question or a topic. I figured I'd give you guys a story about myself. And, um, I really want you guys to be able to grow with me and, um, understand me and, you know, kind of relate. So I figured I'd tell you guys about the very first time I realized that I knew that drawing was for me. So, and I thank God to this day for this, around like eighth grade, I want to say, I um I had an art class, right? And um, before I even get to the art class, in school, I kind of was known as the guy that uh, if somebody wanted a picture traced of like a cartoon, I'm the guy. You come talk to me. <laughs> I used to, uh, we all, in my middle school, we used to all have binders and, um, what I did, and I think a few of my friends did as well, before, you know, everybody started to really get into it, we would just have these pictures inside of the binder. Now, with the binder, there's like a clear little thing on the very front of it, and you could slide like a piece of paper in there. I used to just find me a picture of Naruto or Goku or somebody that I really liked, and I traced it from my computer, slid it in there, and yeah, when we had class, like, I would just throw my binder on the table. And the reason I did it is because it, it kind of felt like I had my characters with me. You know what I mean? It it felt it was like a memento just always with you by your side. And other people would see it, and they would want it. And it was like, oh, cool, da -da -da, talk to James, da -da -da, get one from him. So, yeah, that's kind of what it led to. So then having the art class, it's like, okay, great, you can trace but can you draw, you know? <laughs> so it led to me doing these little projects in the art class, nothing too crazy, simple things, because um, it was, I think, the very first ever art class we had in that school. And yeah, man, I was, I was having fun in there. I enjoyed it. It was easy. I liked it. And in the beginning, it was like really simple, easy projects. And then it kind of like grew and grew into like a little bit more complex you know it led from like small sketches to paintings to you know more like not serious but just more like types of things that you got to actually focus on and take your time with right so to all my students out there um <laughs> y'all know how it is with a midterm or a final i um pretty much had a midterm or it was a final one or the other, right? <laughs> I don't really remember. This is eighth grade. This is years ago. And um, pretty much with this midterm or final, it was it was a very big portion of our grade, and I was not trying to fill it, but I didn't like the idea of the project at first, right? So this project was basically, uh, I'm going to say seven or eight different photos of different landscape shots of different locations and artifacts in those like locations so pretty much one of the ones that i chose was the golden gate bridge before i even chose it though i'm looking at my teacher like dude what what, what is this i don't i don't i don't, I don't want to do this you want me to draw all of that like i don't i don't <laughs> i can't draw nature like i'm not good at, i'm not that great like what are you expecting me from <laughs> like are you crazy so he then ended up telling us, like, and this is another important thing that I think a lot of people should just, like, artists and, you know, kids that's trying to start an art, ask yourself certain questions like this. He um he told me, look at these pictures and, like, think about it. What do they make you feel? Um, Like, do they influence you? How, what, do they have any meaning to you? Like... Can you resonate with it? Can you relate to the photo? Can you make other people relate to it? You know, things of that nature, right? Now, at first I didn't really get it. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. And I then finally stopped on the Golden Gate Bridge. And the reason I chose that was because I thought, hmm, okay. My dad lives out in LA. 
And I would really like to see him and, you know, be with him and all of that and see what it's like over there. At the time, I had never been. But, um, yeah, I chose that. And I was just really like, you know, I'm going to do this for my dad or whatever. So, you know, I chose that. And me being the amazing, great, fantastic procrastinator, I pushed this all the way until the night before. <laughs> night before it was due, right? So, you know, of course, my mother, she's like, yo, get on this project. Like, just do the more. What are you doing? Get on the project. And I'm like, all right, yeah, yeah. And here's another way how I kind of understood that I had a love for it. I pushed it off, but I knew I was going to enjoy doing it. Like, I, it was it was a giddiness inside of me that was like, yo, I cannot wait to get on this. Like, but I'm not about to do it right now. <laughs> so when I had to do it, I just had to do it. So I got my big piece of paper that the uh, teacher gave me, and I got my reference sheet, looked at the reference, found some lines, and started going and going, and I found my rhythm, and I kept going. And, yeah, man, after a while, it looked great. I took my little break, got back in rhythm, and I, I was just falling in love with it. And, man, to this day, like, I know that was one of the best pieces I ever did, one of the best ones. And... Yeah, man, I turned it in. I got an A. Teacher loved it. I loved it. Mom loved it. It was just an amazing, amazing piece. Now, here's the sad, sad part to this whole story. I think either in the next day or two days later, there was an auction, and my piece was supposed to be in it because it was, like, at that level. The piece sold for $350. I didn't see a dime of it. And they told me that it was somewhere downtown. I live in Philadelphia, somewhere downtown Philadelphia. And I never got to see this photo. I had a picture of it, but um, at the time, you know, my mom was kind of swapping phones and, you know, changing phones. And we kind of lost the photo. Never got to see it again. But it was a great piece. And I loved it. <laughs> and I still love it to this day, even though I don't have it. But... Yeah, man, that was kind of what catapulted me into um, the whole realization that this is what I'm supposed to do. Because even at the time, I had friends telling me, yo, you got to do this. You got to take it serious, try it out, and see where it goes. And I just kept doing it. And, yeah, after that project, it really showed me what I could be capable of. And, yeah. And the thing is, I was so young, I really didn't even understand what it meant to have a picture auctioned in 350 and I'm like, oh, whatever. But now, like, I'm older and I realize, like, that's a blessing. That's a really big thing. And it's not easy to do sometimes. So, yeah, you know, sometimes you just got to charge it to the game. But that's pretty much what it was for me. I realized then that was what I wanted to do. So that's my story. Thank you guys for... You know, coming through, checking out my, my piece of art, checking out my video. Um, yeah, I appreciate you, man. If you like it, leave a like, subscribe, tell your friends, share it. Do the whole nine, man. Thank you so, so much. And um, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thanks again.